Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how to take two heavy weapon squads from Astra Militarum and turn them into nine heavy weapon squads. Here we go, we've got the Katachan Heavy Weapon Squad and a Cajun Heavy Weapon Squad. So this is going to give us two, but we can take all the spare bits from these and turn them into at least nine. So in this video, I'll show you just how I did it using all the bits from these kits and a few other bits from Anvil Industry and some of the other models from my Astra Militarum collection. So first of all, though, let's go through a comparison and just quickly see the differences between these two kits. First of all, we've got the instruction books. You've got the Katachan one, which is going to be in black and white, and this single sheet of paper that opens up with all the instructions on. And then for the new Akkadian Heavy Weapon Squad set, you've got a nice colour instruction book, nice and clear, with your data sheets. You don't get the data sheets for the Katachan ones. If you picked up the Cadian Start Collecting set, then you'll get a different one again. And it's a little booklet that opens this way, black and white, and it just shows you the very simple instructions. Again, no data sheets. In the Katachan Heavy Weapon Squad, I got five 60mm bases, and in the Cadian one, I only got the three. The Cadian Heavy Weapon Squad got a transfer sheet, but the Katachan box didn't get one at all. In each box, you're going to get six sprues. And so let's have a look at them real close now. So three of those sprues are going to look like this. And they're going to have all the different weapons that you can use in your squad. So there's five different weapons all together. And that's going to give you 15 weapons in total. And so you can use three heavy bolters, for example, and have a three heavy bolter squad. And then that's going to leave you with 12 weapons left over to use on other kits and kit bashing. But we can turn those into more squads. Each set is also going to have another three sprues. They're going to have the body parts. They're going to have the weapons that the troopers have. They're going to have rug sacks. And you can see the Katachan one on the left here is slightly different than the Cajun here on the right. You're going to get different pieces to go with it. The rug sack's going to be slightly different. Katachan's going to have some leaves on theirs. They're also going to get some foliage you can use on the base, whereas Katachan doesn't. But they do get the sandbag. The torsos, arms and legs and heads will also be different. Here's a close up so you can see the different torsos and again the Katachan on the left, Cajun on the right. That's all the contents of the two boxes so I trimmed everything off the sprue and I laid them out on this big foam sheet. Now this foam sheet is awesome because it's got lots of friction. I can definitely recommend getting hold of something like this when you do a project and you want to lay all the pieces out because it makes it really easy and stops them bouncing and getting lost. And I've combined all the pieces there with a few of the pieces from Anvil Industry and you can see that video up on the channel where I go through the haul I got from them in detail. And then I took all those pieces and planned out how to build all these models. And here you can see in total 10 different heavy weapon squads. But one of them is a little bit different. So I didn't include it earlier on. And that's why I just went with nine. But let's have a close look at each of the squads. And I'll talk through some of the decisions I made when putting them together. So here we go. Here's that 10th heavy weapon squad that I didn't include earlier. And I've used the tracks from Anvil Industry here. And I thought it'd be fun to take these missile launchers from the Sentinels and mount them on there with some kind of magnet. And then I can use them either on these or on the Sentinels themselves. Because I thought it'd be fun for the Cadians especially to have some autonomous or remote controlled mobile missile launchers. Or you could fix some of the other weapons on there, even LAS cannons or auto cannons like you can see here. So that could all be achieved, no problem. So I think there's loads of options. You could use weapons from all different vehicles and come up with some really fun ways to have some little remote vehicles on the battlefield. Pop these on some 60mm bases and I think this would be great fun. Now let's move on to the proper ones and we've got the Cadians. And one decision I've made with all of these is just to put one model per base. Now this is probably not going to be acceptable for real proper games or tournaments, but I think if your opponent's happy, you're just playing at home for fun, then I think it'll work fine. And you've got lots of room there to build up some nice dioramas on the bases as well. And I've got some ideas for that, which I'll show you later on in the video. You could even pop another trooper on there from a unit on a 25mm base if you wanted to have the two models on there. But with these, I've gone for three different kinds to get started. One's fixed with the mortar. I can't change that. That's going to stay as it is. 
and the missile launcher was also glued down so that's not going to change but with the heavy bolter I've changed this one so that it can come out and we can replace it with different weapons so I can replace it with the las gun or the auto cannon you can see it's not fixed in there the friction from the peg and the hole is enough to hold it in place when you push it right in but really easy to get it out just twist it and then you can put in the auto cannon like this and that lines up nicely with the handles but when we take that off and try to put a LAS cannon on, it's a little bit different in the way it lines up. And I'll just show you here that the regular LAS cannon that comes in the kit doesn't line up nicely with the handles there. So what I've done is I've just trimmed some down. And so I took a little chunk out of the back that you won't notice, especially once it's painted. And then that can pop in and it rests on top. Now it's a little bit close to his head. So hopefully there's no recoil on a LAS cannon because he's going to take one to the face. But otherwise, you know, we can just trim that back bit a little bit more if we wanted to anyway. And maybe even put some bits on there to act as some kind of sights or something like that. Another three man team I put together are the heavy bolters and these are again not fixed in. So I can just pop them out and with a little twist, they're going to come out. Just have to be careful. So a little push down and a twist and then they'll pop out nicely. I'll have to be careful how I base it as well so that the ammo crate can fit in really well. But really easy to take it in and out and then I can swap it over for those weapons. There's loads left. Next up, we've got the LAS cannons. Now I've glued these in place because I really think this would be a great team to have for the Cadians. And I've used one of the tripods that came in the Anvil Industry Hall. And here you can see them compared closely with the ones that come in the actual kits from Games Workshop. And these are great. They work fine. The holes are a different size. You just have to glue the weapon in place. Now we're on to the Cathachans and here's my first team and I've gone for heavy bolters. These ones I've glued onto those bases from Anvil Industry and I've also used some torsos, some spare legs and heads so I get full use of all these different models. Now I only needed six extra torsos and six extra set of legs to get all these different heavy weapons teams put together. So with what's included, you really do get a lot going on. I used some legs from one other kit as well and so that gave me the extra two. But yeah, you can get lots out of this with some additions from Anvil Industry. Then I've gone for the auto cannon team and some of the legs you get are sat down. So I thought it'd be funny just to put these guys on a log. This one here with the binoculars looks a bit like he's eating a sandwich, but he's not. He's just checking out the battlefield, seeing what's going on and calling in the team so they get the shots in the right place. And with these guys, because we're using those tripods that came in the kit, I haven't glued them in. You can pop it out really easily and then swap that over for more heavy bolters if you want to. Or you could pop that las cannon. And this isn't as close to his face, so this makes it look a little bit more not realistic. That's not the word, but, you know, it, it works a bit better. Now I've taken all the mortars from both kits and I've done two Cathachan mortar teams because I think I really like the idea of these put alongside all the different troops and the squads I really like the idea of having the heavy mortars in the jungle raining in on the enemy I don't know how effective they're going to be I don't do it for competition it's just for the fun narrative aspect then I took three models and made these missile launchers and I put these on 28 mil bases and the idea with these is that they will go in the infantry squad so I'll pair them up with one other trooper and then make sure that those two troopers are part of the heavy weapons team they won't be on the 60 mil base but again just for playing at home for fun i think it'll work just fine so that's the different squads and now let's have a look at all the bits that are left over so we've got these little sandbags with daggers in we've got weapons all the rug sacks lots of different pieces i've taken some vox casters from the scions and just going to use those to make little mini dioramas on these bases and i think that's a really fun thing to do on these I'm also going to take little piles of like rugsack, a helmet and a weapon and maybe a water bottle and then put those in a little pile. So it represents that other model that you'd usually see on these and then build the diorama around it. So I've just put some blue tack to give you an idea. So I think that'll work really good. From the Katachan squad, you get some little foliage and these weird plants. So they're going to be used maybe with these or maybe on some of the bases for the other miniatures I've already put together. So you get quite a lot, a few different types, and uh, these all fit together to make some little plants. I've got to go heavy with the jungle theme, and I'll be using loads of awesome products from Gamers Grass, and I've got to do a video really soon showing you the haul I've got. So once I've built everything, I'll start talking about basing and painting, and then I'll show you all the stuff I got from Gamer Grass because they've sent me some awesome stuff to use in this project. I can't wait to show you. 
And now I've got a few more bits left over from Anvil Industry, these ammo cases, and then three more track vehicles. So we can really go to town on the missile launchers and things. And then three little missile launchers there, a few more arms, so a few bits left over from the kit. And there we go, that's how I took two heavy weapon squads and turned them into nine with the bonus one you can see there with the little track vehicles from Anvil Industry. And I was really happy how it turned out and I think going with one of the actual miniatures crouched down really helps you to take advantage of all the weapons that are included in the kit and then transfer that into these other weapon squads. And with Anvil Industry's help with all those little pieces, it's really made this a cost effective project. It's also brilliant fun. I love having all the options to take these different weapons and put together different teams, work out different lists, and it's going to be really fun to try it all out. And I love this guy sat on the log. I just think it looks really funny. And so, yeah, really happy with everything here. And being able to use all the weapons from those two kits is brilliant. Don't forget to check out that video I'd made with all the bits from Anvil Industry, giving you a good look at it all. And there's also a link in the description of this video. And if you follow it to their website, you can save 10% on anything you buy. There's also some links down below taking you to Element Games and Wayland Games, where you can save up to 20% on your gaming products. But the Katachan Heavy Weapon Squad is an online order from Games Workshop. You can buy it from Wayland and Element, but you're probably not going to get a discount there at the moment. But by clicking those links and buying other products, you support the channel and help me keep making these daily videos. So thanks so much for that support. It's brilliant and I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been great fun putting all this together. It took a lot longer than I thought, quite fiddly and a lot of planning, but really happy to take the contents of these two boxes and turn them into so many heavy weapon squads. If you've been watching the series where I'm going through the complete build of my 6,000 point Astra Militarum Army, then thanks so much. And if you're not, I'll put a link at the end of this video so you can go and check that out too. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.